And this is Lore's new cave. Cave. Cage. I, uh, probably should do a... Well, first I want to show how cute she is. She's being all, like, in the corner and awesome. Hey, see? See the hamster? Yeah. Yeah, that's the tube that goes from this one to this one. And she's staring at me like, what do you want? What? Lore? Hey, Lore. Anyway. The whole thing, Carla asked for a video. This is the whole thing. My next, pro next project is going to be, you know, a bigger one of these for the old man. But as you can see, I have about five, well, yeah, about five or six inches to expand to the right, so that's what I'm probably going to do. And there's the old man in the corner, sitting in a ball, being awesome. And, oh, he figured out the cord thing. Finally. And he's working on it. Well, anywho, yeah, this is Laura's new cage. It's got uh, two la layers, levels, and I'm really tired. This was pretty much what her old cage looked like. Um, it's a bit. This one's a bit bigger. Same, you know, house and wheel and everything, plus a tube. And it goes down into the second one. Um, which I, I bought a little igloo and... I had to buy new tubes because apparently mine had gone missing. I took a ladder from the old, um, from a wire cage that I had, put a log in there, and another set of fiddlesticks. She seems to really like those. Um, her water bottle is on the side. I'll probably end up moving it to the front eventually. Uh, she likes to climb, so I put uh, wi a wire on the sides of the bottom one. Um, I didn't do it to the other one because I got really tired of cutting stuff. So, um, and actually the one that's on top is supposed to be on the bottom, but the, yeah, I screwed that up. Oh well. Um, anyway, here's the top. They're just little, they open right up. Laura's an, ex an escape artist. I don't know where she's up there, she is. She's really good at trying to escape. I love her food dish. It may be plastic, and she may be able to move it a lot. Aww, she's eating stuff. No, she's not. She's just stuffing herself. What? Yeah, we're looking at you. Lore! And camera shy. Oh, no, she's just trying to get higher. She always, always wants out of her cage. No matter what I'm doing, she hears my voice. She's probably the most sociable of the hamsters. And my favorite, actually. Not my favorite looking, but personality-wise, she's definitely my favorite. And then, um, the old man is hopefully getting his new cage soon. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and pull the money together tomorrow and see if I can figure that out. Uh, the other ones, <clears throat> I'm pretty content where they are. This is Mia's cage, and as usual, she's sleeping. For a dwarf, it's, it's, it works. Um, she likes the tubes and likes to make big, really big messes in there. Look what she's done. And then there's there's Lexi. Lexi is my favorite of of uh, visually my favorite hamster because she's just got beautiful markings. And I usually open her cage up and let her wander around. I always open the bottom layer, uh, level though. I just want to get a good video of her. Look how beautiful she is. She just has the most gorgeous markings, and she knows I'm talking about her. Um, her. Um, cage I'm hoping to add a bit to. It's a teensy bit small, but it does meet the minimum requirements space-wise. Um, I did do the math. Uh, she sleeps up here, and then, of course, in there, and stuffs tissues and holes so I don't bother her. She's still a little shy. Oops. And, yeah. I don't know... Mia should be up, though. That's what's weird. <clears throat> Let's see where she's at. She's probably in here. This cage would not do good on its own. But as part of... Ah, come on. She's probably in here. If not, she's in her little... thing with Jade. There she is. Yeah, I woke you up. Yeah, hopefully I'm getting your good side, right? And she's being antisocial. I don't blame her though. If you wake her up, she's very cranky. 
She'll probably just stretch out and go back to sleep, is what she does. No, maybe not. Let me see if she'll come out for a second. There she is. My beautiful girl. All weird and sleepy. Honey! She makes me laugh. That's uh, not the best way to pick you up, I'm sorry. This is her sleepy. And not really wanting to be held too much. Oh, she's not biting me. It takes her second. She's my oldest hamster. Well, aside from the old man. She's the one I've had the longest. She's a win away hybrid. She's not biting me. She does it sometimes. She's gotten better. The only person she bites anymore is my boyfriend because he doesn't handle her properly. I don't know, she's getting nippy. Not because I smell like vinegar. What? Yeah, she's nibbling. Alright, that hurts. Quit. Nope, she bites. I'm putting her away. Sorry for waking you up. I won't do it again. Now she's gonna run around like she's hyper. She's a little weird. But, I tend to make amends with her using Cheerios. Whoops. Like these. Cheerios. And she's looking for it, actually. The other ones won't eat them. She loves them. Content. She actually eats it, she doesn't just stuff it in her mouth. Which is a little reassuring, you know? Sorry, I'm trying to close the Cheerio container. What? I'm pretty sure Lexi will eat it. I mean, I can try. Me is also the only one that likes bananas. Sometimes I'll give her a little piece. Here, let's see what she does. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna take one. There you go. You're just gonna stuff it in your mouth. No, you're eating it. That's different. So, I was wrong. Go figure, right? Yeah, and then all night long, all day long, this one runs in her wheel. Oh, there it goes again. All the time. And now she'll look at me and stop. Oh, maybe not. Lore! Lore! There she is. And there she is. Yeah, her wheel actually is not, like, round anymore. It's, like, because she runs in it so much. And she's had it about a month. What? Yeah, I know. I, I owe you uh, carrots and things. I owe you carrots. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm just mumbling. I'm hoping to add more. I ordered some of those puzzle playgrounds. Yeah, in the top layer, um, I could probably add more bedding. It's in the bottom one. I can't really because it was supposed to be the top. Because I'm an idiot, I got them mixed up. But that's alright. I'm gonna give her some tissue and she'll be happy. And there she goes. The only problem is, the second I um, put her in here, she tried to climb out the back, which is the only of this layer level. Damn it. Which is the only part of the whole cage that has no, no, uh, what? Climbable surface. It made no sense whatsoever. Let's see if she'll use her tube. She's a little big for it, so I'm hopefully, hopefully going to order some bigger ones soon. But for now, she'll be alright. And there she goes. Warped wheel. And there goes the old man. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm, I'm gonna kill this off. Um, yeah, this is her hamster hideout, and uh, my project, which I spend about four hours doing. This is my, my only, only like my second one. I'm pretty proud of it. The first one I've done alone, aside from my boyfriend uh, cut out the top for me. And then came in all like, this was the hardest thing ever. But it was cute. My boyfriend's so cute when he does manly things. And this is my fish tank since I'm all like showing people stuff. I've got seven fish in there? My beta is, there he is, being all awesome. He's partially blind. 
But he gets around okay, and nobody tends to, you know, mess with him or anything. My moss ball, my fish, most, they're all platies. Even the weird one with the funky shape, which is this black painted platy. Um, I have catfish in here, but they're, I don't know where they're at. Antisocial somewhere, I'm sure. They're not very, um, personable. But yeah, this is my fish tank. I cleaned it about every four days, just because of the amount of fish that's in there. Um, I really do want to upgrade it one day, though. For now, they're just gonna have to deal with it. Gilly male is the, uh, one that no one can see right now, lovely. My panda platy. He's right here. Not the one that's closer to the camera. The one with the black tail. It's the only male in the whole tank. That, this one here might be male. I don't really know because he's like anorexic looking. The hyperactive one's my hyphen, uh, blue plotty. Uh, my bumblebee. I think that's just a red platy. And there's my beta being epic. My sunburst. And, uh, there are my quarries being all antisocial. There in the bell. My bell, my rock formation I broke, which actually was kinda cool because I could turn it into separate places, and they hide under the the black area. And then I don't know, that came from Walmart. I cut all the stupid plastic crap off of it. And then these are my plastic plants. And the only live thing in here. There's my my uh beta. He's blind on the other side. Um, and partially blind in that eye. And then that's my moss ball. Which has something growing on it. That's nice. I might have to get another one. I don't know. They're like two bucks at Petco. But yeah, this is my extremely hyperactive group of fish. My heater. The filters. It's just aquaculture from Walmart. Xbox. Crap in my room. My fursuit head. I love that thing. Um, Chobits. My massive closet. Computer again. And this is what she does all night long. She just stares at me. She's, I think it's called owling. I wonder if she might be a little bored. I ordered the puzzle playground. I'm hoping it gets here soon. I wonder if I could use, like, little bird toys or something she could tear up. It's not gonna, like, get stuck in her cheap pouches or whatever. I just stuck the wood up there for the heck of it. What? Yeah, we're talking about you. And Mia's gone right, ooh. I left her cage open. That's not good. She's probably just gone back to sleep, because that's what she does. Sorry, Mia. Yeah, she went back to sleep. Sorry. Yeah, I know, you're mad. You're mad. Say good- say good night. She's like, yeah, whatever, bye. Alright, I'm done.